I have here five problems for the tutorial ng ating combustion, fuels and combustion. So let me continue with these problems. Okay. Okay. One, two. Yun, lima nga. So this is the first problem. How much in pound per minute of bunker fuel oil are needed to be mixed with air at <clears throat> you know, at 38.2 degrees Celsius in 18 hours per day operation? The bunker oil has a degree bomb of uh, 32.8 and has a total volumetric consumption <clears throat> of 32.8 cubic meter per day. So, yung same process yan, ang ginagawa natin uh, in similar problems, ang given dyan is degree API. So, first, isinosolve natin yung SG niya at 15.6 degree Celsius. And then, after nun, masolve natin siya, isosolve naman natin yung at the given temperature, yung SG niya at the given temperature, nung consumption. And then, after masolve mas, uh, mas natin yun is we will solve for the density of the of the fuel at the uh, given temperature. Now, after natin masolve na yun, isosolve naman natin yung required mass of the fuel. So, kunin natin yung kanilang, ano, kanilang formula. <clears throat> For degree bohm, ito. Ayan. So, para hindi nyo nalilimutan, okay, the same lang sila ng API. Ang kinaibahan lang na wala yung 1.5 volt pag bohm. So, ang first step natin is to solve yung SG at 15.6 degree Celsius. So, SG at 15.6 degree Celsius equal to uh, 140 divided by 130 plus Yung given dyan sa degree bomb, which is 32.8 degrees. Ayan. So, masasolve na natin yung SG at 15.6 degrees. Ay dito, 140, 130, nasa baba, plus 32.8. Ayan. So, pwede na yan. Huwag nyo munang i-round off. As is, okay? Huwag nyo i-round off yung value para hindi malayo yung sa final value natin. And then after nun, gagamitin natin yung correction factor para ma-solve natin yung SG at the given temperature. SG at, I think that is 38.2. Ayun, 38.2. SG at 38.2. Equal to. I-multiply mo yung SG dun sa correction factor. That is 350. Divide by 407, multiplied to 1 minus 1, 2, 3, 7, 2. Multiplied to the temperature na given dyan, that is 38.2, minus 15.6. Okay. Store natin to kay A. Ayan. Alpha A, <clears throat> 1 minus 0.12372. Multiplied to 38.2 minus 15.6. And so the answer is, wag nyo ulit i-round off para malapit lang yung maging sagot. So that is the SG at the given temperature. 0 0.845957793960. Okay, store natin to kay B. After storing dyan kay B, hanapin na natin sa third step natin, okay, kung this is the second step, meron tayong third step, hanapin natin yung density of fuel at the given temperature. Okay, yung density ng fuel, di ba lagi naman natin iminumultiply yung SG at the given temperature to, to what? Multiply natin saan? Siyempre sa relative density, which is the density of water. Oh, ayan. So, ito, 0 0.845957793960 multiply that with the density of water which is 
1,000 kg per cubic meter. Pero sometimes, pwede na rin 1 kg per liter. Pero ang hinahanap naman dito kasi is in pounds per minute. Kaya kailangan natin yung kilogram per cubic meter na units. So, nagawa na natin yung step 3. Okay? I-multiply ko na ito kay 1,000. Ito, pwede ka na mag dito. Ha? Pwede ka na mag-round off. 8. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. 4. 8. per cubic meter. That is the density nung oil or nung fuel at the given temperature. Okay. And then after nun, tandaan natin that the density is equal to the mass over volume. Ano po bang pinag-uusapan natin dito? ba diba, ang hinahanap natin dito is the uh, mass flow rate ng fuel. O, wala tayong mass ng fuel, wala rin... Um, okay. Wala rin tayong... Hindi, meron tayong density ng fuel, meron tayong volume ng fuel. Okay? May binigay dyan eh. Ayun, B, this is the volume flow rate ng fuel. So, masasolve na natin yung mass of the fuel. Okay? So, the mass of the fuel now will be, cross-multiply lang natin to, yung volume of fuel given, volume flow rate yan eh, times the density ng fuel at the given temperature. Now, yung mass of the fuel is equal to, yung volume ng fuel is, I think, 32.8 cubic meter per day. 32.8 cubic meter per day. Okay? Pero, sinabi dito, hindi naman isang araw mo dyan is 24 hours. Meron kang operation rate dyan na 18 hours per day operation. O, di ko cancel natin yung day. You have uh, per day, so one day, equal lang sa 18 hours operation yan. O, meron ka ng volume. Tapos yung density, ano ba yung density binigay dyan? 845.9577 kilogram per cubic meter. Ang problema, ang hinahanap dito na unit is, anong hinahanap? pound per minute na flow rate. Oh, ano na lang natitira dyan? To, makancel to, makancel to, makancel yung cubic meter, kilogram per hour. E ang alam kong conversion pag kilogram to pound, yung 2,000 pound in per 907 kilogram. Pwede to. Kaya yung isa, uh, 2.205 pound per 1 kilogram. Pwede na yun. Tapos yung R into minute. So, in every hour, meron ang 60 minutes. O, oh, cancel natin yung same units na natitira, yung hour, yung hour, yung kilogram and kilogram. So, ang lumabas na unit dyan is pound per minute. So, solving 32.8 <coughs> times uh, 845.9577. Times 2,000. Lahat ng nasa taas. Pagsamay mo rin lahat ng nasa baba. So, 18. Times 907. Times 60. So, the answer will be 56.65. Ano eh? 56.6528. Ganun lang yung pag-solve dyan ha. Follow the steps. Tapos, uh, mag-a-arrive ka dun sa answer. So, sa dulo ka parati magko-convert. So, 56.6528 pound in every minute. Ah, ganun kadali yung pag-solve nun. Okay. Yan, live natin sinosolve. Okay, so for problem, yung susunod na problem, compute the amount of heat rejected in kilowatt rate operating under auto engine. That has a clearance of 8.8%, which produces a power output of. So, meron kang power output. Anong ibig sabihin kapag power output? Pag sinabing heat output, that is QA. Pag sinabing power output, that is the network ng system. Okay? Now, given yung clearance, 
As you can recall, kapag given ng clearance, pwede nating makuha yung uh, compression ratio. Okay? So recall, yung compression ratio, that is equal to the maximum volume divided by the minimum volume. But that is also equal dun sa given na clearance. So yung 1 plus C divided by C. Where yung C is in decimal, okay? Nagawin mong decimal yan. So, from here, uh, pwede natin gamitin in order for us to find yung QA, yung QR. Saan po, sir? ba diba sa efficiency ng auto cycle? That is equal to 1 minus 1 over RK raised to K minus 1. Where, yung general equation for any uh, heat cycle or gas cycle that is equal to work net over QA. Diba? So that is equal to work net over QA. O, mahanap natin si QA. So, from here, sa equation na to, pwede na tayong makapag-derive nung hindi given dyan. So, QA ang mahanap natin. Okay? O, mahanap natin ng QA. And then, paano natin mahuhugot yung value ni QR? So, recall mo, di ba? Work net is equal to... <coughs> QA minus QR. Oh. So, dito pa lang makukuha mo na yung value ni QR. So, QR will be, arrange natin algebraically, work net. Okay, mali. That is QA minus work net. Oh, masolve natin si QR. Okay, solve muna natin si QA. Gamit ito, itong equation na ito. So, 1 minus 1 over Yung RK mo, pwede mong palitan gamit yung clearance. Ipasok mo na ito dun. So, that is 1 plus C divided by C raised to K minus 1. Sir, wala pong given na K. May sinabi ba dyan sa problem? So, walang sinabi dyan. And uh, pwede nating assume na K is coming from air. Air standard. So, K is equal to 1.4. O, pasok natin yung value ng 1.4 na hindi ito mamaya. And then, equate natin itong buo sa work net that is 8888 8 BTU per minute. So, ang hinahanap dito is in kilowatts. Okay? Ayun, in kilowatt. Mamaya natin i-convert pag nasa dulo na. Okay. Divided by QA. O. Ito, pwede nating palitan yung mga values niyan ngayon. Okay, baba natin. 1 minus 1 over, yung nasa loob, 1 plus 0 0.088, divide by 0 0.088, raise to 1.4 minus 1. And then, e equal to 8888. BTU per minute divided by QA. O, simplify pa natin para QA na lang isosolve natin. E, ito nang buo yan eh. E, pwede isolve ko muna yung, right, ah, yung left side. So that is 1 minus 1 divided by yung 1.088 divided by 0.088. Raise to 1.4 minus 1, that is 0.4. Okay. Store natin tong value na to sa left side. That is, is, that is in A. Okay. 0.6342860.64. Store natin tong value na to kay A. Gamitin niyo yung mga alphabets dyan para store niyo yung mga mahabang values. O, equal to. 8888 BTU per minute divided by QA. Dapat, para ma-check mo, yung QA is the, yan ang pinakamalaki dyan sa system mo. Okay? So, QA will be equal to 8888 BTU per minute divided by 0 0.6342 6, 0, 6, 3, 4. So, makuha natin yung value niya. 
8888 divide by recall natin yung value ng store natin. Okay? Oh, di meron tayong QA na. So QA is equal to 14012.6049 BTU per minute. Oh, in order for you to solve yung QR, gamitin na natin yung QA minus worknet. So that is 14012.6049 minus 8888. Oh, anong unit niyan? BTU per minute. Ang kailangan natin is kilowatt. Kailangan yung BTU ma-convert natin into kilojoule, yung minute ma-convert natin into seconds. So there are uh, <clears throat> Pero paano sir kung hindi mo matandaan yung conversion ng kilojoule tsaka ng BTU? O madali lang naman, yung BTU per minute pwede maging HP yan eh. Oh, gawin nating HP yan. Oh, edi. You have 42.4 BTU per minute in every HP. Oh, yung HP pwede na natin i-convert into kilowatts. So, 0.746 kilowatt per HP. Oh, cancel natin yung mga magkakatulad na units. BTU per minute, BTU per minute, HP, HP, and then you arrived with kilowatts. Oh, minus na natin dito, 888. Hmm. Times 0.746 divided by 42.4. Now, the answer is 90.16 kilowatts. Very basic yung problem na yan. 90.164 kilowatts. Okay? Post muna tayo for the for three problems pa. Okay? Post muna tayo.